What's going on guys? It's your boy Brad back with another video. We have all heard of the freshman 15, right? What about the nursing school 30? Anybody out there heard of the nursing school 30? Anybody experienced it? Um, you know, the fact of the matter is guys, people gain weight whenever they get in nursing school. It's a fact, okay? Um, I gained weight. I didn't gain 30 pounds, but I gained weight once I got into nursing school. If you take a look at what you have to do and day in and day out, right? Not, not to mention if you have work. Let's just take that out of the equation altogether, right? We're talking about lectures. We're talking about studying for tests. We're talking about doses calculation exams, clinics, those long 12 hour days, right? Uh, the clinic paperwork, you know, you're, you're stressed to the max because it's nursing school and it's a beast and it's so much work and it's overwhelming. And, uh, you know, because you are so overwhelmed and nursing school is so time consuming, we really let our fitness and our nutrition and our, our health fall by the wayside a lot of times, right? Whenever you're so busy, you know, I say this, I've said this before, the vending machine come, becomes your friend, right? Fast food becomes your friend, you know, it's, and, and not to mention as a nursing student, you're financially strained, right? So it's cheaper to eat out, it's faster to eat out, and it's just more convenient. And so it happens, and so people put on weight. I have recently made a massive change in my life. I went to the doctor. The doctor said, you need to lose some weight and it's a serious situation. And so I went out first thing, the very next day, got myself a gym membership and I've been going every day except for Sundays, which are going to be my rest days. In the past six days, I've lost six pounds, right? And it's only going to keep going. Um, I'm going to have some videos coming out, okay, where I'm going to be providing you guys with, you know, meal plans or meal prepping ideas, different healthy options, different healthier snacks that you can take as opposed to hitting those vending machines, giving you guys with some, uh, giving you guys some exercise uh, ideas. Some of the other types of videos that I plan on doing are like shopping with Nurse Bass, right? Showing you going to the grocery store, doing our, our shopping trip and coming home and then filming myself and showing you guys different things that we picked up healthier options, things that I plan on using different ingredients to make what kind of meals, things like that. I found, I've watched those kinds of videos in the past and I found a lot of great healthier options and ideas for meals, uh, for my own, you know, diet. So I think that's something that would be definitely beneficial for you guys. So the shopping with Nurse Bass, but I also want to do the cooking with Nurse Bass where I show you guys actually myself cooking different kinds of recipes. Uh, again, those healthier meals that I was talking about that I would explain, then actually going in and cooking them and showing you, you know, how to prepare them, how much of each ingredient to use, whatever, those kinds of things, just to really give you some different alternative options for healthier meals that you can have as opposed to, you know, fast food and all that stuff. So this is just going to be a little tiny taste of what is to come with these future fitness related videos. But I just want to give you guys three little quick tips that you can begin implementing today that are going to help you begin to lose weight and get more towards a healthier lifestyle because as nursing students and future nurses we advocate and teach our patients all the time about how to be healthy but we can't just talk the talk we have to walk it okay so here's my three quick tips for this video then i'm out but please stay tuned for uh, the future videos that are going to be coming out i got a lot of cool stuff in store for you guys tip number one water increase your intake of water okay um, this is what I carry around with me okay I try at least to get a gallon a day uh, carrying this around with me has been a big big help okay if you think about it if you carry this around with you this is gonna be enough water to last you all day you take it with you everywhere you go so if you do go out to eat for instance get a healthier option and I'll be talking about that later but you can have your water, okay? You don't have to get a fountain drink. You already got it with you. You don't have to keep going and filling up, refilling a bottle, and that's inconvenient. You got this with you. But anyways, just either way you do it, increase your water consumption. Tip number two that you can implement today to begin turning things around for yourself. Chips. Chips, candy, little bull crap that's super high in calories, those types of vending machine snacks, cut those out as well big source of sugar, big source of calories. If you look at the little 
uh, bag of Doritos that you get out of the vending machines, the little tiny ones, you know, I used to kill those things. I love Doritos. You know, they're like 250, 300 calories for the little bag, and that's just a snack, right? That ain't gonna fill you up. That's just to uh, to batten down the hatches, so to speak. So, you know, cut out the chips, the candy, the miscellaneous junk food. And tip number three is just to increase your activity in some way, shape, or form, okay? Like I said, you don't have to go to the weight room. If that's not your thing, that's cool. Uh, me and Nurse Merce have talked about this thing called a slight edge principle, what any, where any little thing that you do adds up, right? It is beneficial. So, for instance, if you have dogs, this is just examples. If you have dogs and you walk your dogs and you walk your dog to the mailbox and back and, you know, or you just take them outside to use the bathroom and you come right back in instead of doing that, go the extra distance, right? Take them a walk around the house or around the apartment complex, whatever, just to get a little bit more uh, activity in your own life. Um, or for instance, instead of taking the elevators on campus or wherever, take the stairs. Instead of taking one stair at a time, take two stairs at a time. You know, little things like that, that you would not normally do otherwise, that are going to increase your activity levels, burn a little bit of extra calories, just get you more active. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button right here. I'm putting out these motivational, educational kinds of videos every week. And of course, I've got the fitness related videos coming up as well. Um, that's all I got, man. It's Nurse Bass, soon to be. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right? You can find me here. Peace.